I'd like you to remain standing for a moment of silence for our armed forces who continue to serve our country for our freedom and those who have lost their lives in doing so. Thank you. Just give everybody a minute to settle in. Okay. So we're going to begin this meeting on the agenda today is uh, to vote on the tax uh, cap as well as the water and sewer uh, fund increases. Uh, before we begin, I just want to be clear because I believe um, there's been some confusion. I've been receiving a lot of emails and phone calls from residents who don't understand that this uh, increase reflects only your village taxes. It does not reflect your taxes on the whole. Um, and so before we start, I'd like to let you know, based upon the um, proposed rates, that in the water, um, the water fund, fund, water taxes, um, it would be um, an increase of $7.84 per month, and a, that would equate to about $1.82 per week. Now that's based on consumption. We must all understand that water is based on consumption, and consumption is a variable. So you have to prepare for that variable. Um, in doing so, Mr. Giannito took that into consideration and with the deficits um, reflected that into the increase. So again, it would be $7.84 a month, $1.82 a week per household based on consumption. That was based on 39 units of consumption. We took a kind of uh, medium number of consumption. On the sewer fund. The sewer fund is based on consumption of the winter months of the waters, okay? So just, you have to use a historic number on that. Again, a variable, okay? So it's very hard. Um, we can't say, Mr. Smith, we're billing you for 100 units of water per year, and after you use that 100 units of water, you have to turn your faucet off. That's not the way it works. Um, so it, those increases would reflect $10.89 a month or $2.53 a week, again, based on consumption, and we used 39 units as um, a number. So I just wanted to be clear uh, with regards to, um, to the increases that were proposed. Um, I think there's two, two issues going on here. Um, one is that we have water and sewer rate increase propose, proposals on the tentative budget, but we also have um, something that the treasurer built in, which was to propose these rates, but they would be included in the May billing. Um, it was proposed that way uh, by the treasurer to um, add some additional revenue to the water and sewer, um, so it was part of the proposal, and I want everyone to understand that. That why that I'm sorry. That is why it was imperative to have this meeting this morning because the treasurer's office needs that number this morning. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it in the evening. Um, I was told that we would receive information um, after the meeting concluded yesterday uh, with regards to the recommendations from the other trustees. We did not receive that information until 8 o'clock on Thursday, uh, where are we, on Wednesday night. So the Treasurer's Office um, had to work on that yesterday, has it all prepared for this morning. Um, however, we, ha we have to have it done by today. We've had several meetings um, with regards to voting on this in the evening. Um, unfortunately, the trustees were not comfortable at that time and needed more information. So now we were at the 11th hour. I had no choice but to make this meeting at 10 o'clock in the morning. Again, I have offered to have evening meetings after our morning meetings. Um, the trustees have not taken me up on that. So here we are. Um, so we will place the first item on the agenda to be um, the water rates. Um, proposed at 12.2%. Uh, 
Well, I'd like to make a statement, if it's okay. Sure. Uh, number one, it's a little disingenuous uh, for you to say that you had no response from the trustees. I, I did not excuse have a response me, to have Excuse me, excuse me, I didn't interrupt I want to clarify you. what I no, said. No, don't clarify what I'm saying, because okay. I haven't said it yet. Oh, please, okay. by all means. You said you, uh, your, your treasurer had no contact with us. Uh, from 1 o'clock to almost 4 o'clock, your treasurer was exchanging emails with us concerning our proposals on the water rates. I had the emails, and I'm sure the time is stamped on them. So if anybody told you that uh, he, he wasn't in contact with us, the problem stems from the fact that we have a difference of opinion. Uh, the rate he's proposing and that you're seconding is a lot higher than what we feel it should be. Uh, we gla glance, you glanced over the, the fact that, uh, well, we're going to bill for May 1st. What, in fact, that means is that you're going to bill people for six months at a new rate. In other words, if your rate was $4 a gallon, just to make the numbers easy so everybody understands, it was $4 a gallon, that rate should have been in effect from November to May. What the treasurer and the mayor, with the mayor's blessing, was doing is backdating the raise in rates. So instead of paying $4 uh, per gallon, with the rate going into effect, it would have been backdated, and you would have been paying $5 a gallon for rates that you already would charge $4 a rate. So, so what they're doing is backdating the, the rates, so you're paying a higher fee than what you should have been uh, paying. Um, we're not comfortable with that, not at all. Uh, I won't say, well, I won't go into it, but uh, based on the information we found out and what else we're looking at, uh, we're going to make a motion to table any vote. And, and just to clarify the billing issue, the billing issue for water and sewer starts May 1st. Whatever the rate increase may or may not be, that billing would start May 1st. Any billing that goes out at the beginning of May should be predicated on your old rates. So it makes absolutely no difference when these rates go into effect, uh, when, they, when they get onto the computer and get adjusted, because you should be billing at, a, at the old rate. So whatever rate is or isn't passed here today, should have no effect on your billing from November to uh, April. So I just want to kind of clarify that, how it really works. Uh, I would like to echo uh, Mr. Morris's sentiment, and if the mayor could actually um, elaborate on the billing cycle and that we are back charging the residents from November to May 1st with this newly proposed increase is totally unfair to every village resident you are being billed on the rate the new rate that we are trying to establish now which they are forcing down forcing us to adopt and we're going to back bill that rate on the water you used already at the rate they established last year i believe it's totally unfair and i make the motion to table this until we come up with a better way of billing Okay, we, we have a motion on the table already, but you asked me to elaborate, um, Mr. Marconis. Um, what I'd like to explain to you is that is the way the Treasurer prepared the uh, water rates, and that's the way it reflected in the tentative budget. Um, for Mr. Morris to insinuate that I had had my blessing, that I agree with it, I do not agree with it, and I have made that clear to the Treasurer. However, that was in the tentative budget. But I do not You made this clear to the Treasurer that you don't agree with back billing for the last six months yes after we had and the treasurer is aware of this yes the treasurer is aware okay. that I, I do not agree with back billing and the um excuse me you're right mr morris thank you're you. right okay so to speak for me mr morris i would appreciate that you would at least speak to me in advance of that to let you know that indeed i don't agree and i would have voted no to any back billing However, this vote needed to happen to make sure that there was no back billing. Therefore, the treasurer's office needed that portion of that information in order to put out the bills with the tax, the uh, present tax rate going forward. 
There is no vote needed to put out the bills May 1st because we have an established right. rate. But the, the number that was included in the, in the proposed tax increase reflected back billing. Okay, so you have to establish, which I think we're all in agreement for once, that there should be no back billing. So therefore, if you choose to table the tax increase, that's fine. But we needed to clarify that there will be no back billing. And that is why at the 11th hour, I'm making sure that I came to say I don't want any back billing. And apparently the rest of the trustees do not want any back billing. So therefore, we can go ahead with the old rate and have the bill sent out in a timely fashion to give the treasurer's office a chance to prepare the bills. This was done last year, too. The same thing under your, under your mayor, being the mayor, you proposed that it went through. They backpilled the village residents last year. Okay. In lieu of the fact of where we are financially in this village and that there needs to be tax increases, I have looked it over with Mr. Janito, and it is my opinion that there should be no back billing because of the increase going forward. Well, then I find it amazing, again, 3 o'clock, 3.30 yesterday afternoon, Mr. Janino wasn't aware of this. And if I'm not mistaken, you're the chief physical officer. When That's you, not true. I'm the well, chief executive officer. Chief executive officer. officer. Right. He's the chief well, financial and officer. And he is an employee of the villages. So I find it amazing that he did all these things and... We questioned this at various meetings with him and you, and it was never mentioned that uh, you knew that there was back billing going on. You never said anything to us. So I'm finding it incredulous now that mm -hmm. uh, when we bring it up now, everybody's against back billing. <laughs> okay, so we're, you know, you're arguing over the fact that we're agreeing, Mr. Morris. <laughs> no, I'm arguing so over anyway, the fact let that us, we're let us, let us get straight that. Mr. Janito is the chief financial officer of this village, and I am the chief executive officer of this village. I just want to make that perfectly clear. However, in lieu of the fact that this board is not in favor, uh, we have a motion and a second to table um, the, the vote on the increase on the water rates. Well, I would like to just add one more thing. Can I just can I just finish what I, I thought you were? Finish I'm sorry. My thought? That's okay. Yes. Um, I think that we need to also vote on the fact that the uh, I think first we have to reflect that the uh, whatever the new rate may be we need to vote that it is going forward and not to be back billed so in other words you, when your bills come out on May 1st you it will reflect the present rate so I think that a motion for that needs to be made first so then we would be fiscally responsible to table the tax rate increase So would anybody like to make a motion that we do not back bill for, at a well, new rate? Well, for I would another thing. a motion to, to, to because, do something that's, you know, blatantly dishonest. I mean. Uh, because it was included in the budget, Mr. Well, Morris, the budget hasn't why. been approved, has it? No, but I think that you're, you're not understanding, again, again, Mr. Morris. I, 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 we're I doing a good answer. thing here. We're saying we're not back billing, and you're still arguing with me. No, I'm not. I think, to, I think for the process to. to go forward in the fashion which is good for the residents, we need to pass a motion stating that we are not going to reflect the new water rate and sewer rate in the May billing. And Do I have a motion for that? We're not done discussing it. We will make that motion. Okay, but then we will go to the second portion to table the new rate. First of all, if I may. Sure. Okay. Once again, the outcry from the public and the village with this 10 o'clock meeting to me is ridiculous. The village residents need to be made aware of the misguided uh, budgeting practices that have been in place from last year to this year, the misguided billing practices of water and sewer from this year to last year. It's, it's unacceptable, and I'm sure that everybody that walks out of this room today is going to be surprised that they've been misleaded in this, in this fiscal time that we're in where this village is, is in fiscal straits here. And we're just going to put it right back on the taxpayers' back without them even knowing is disgusting. That's what I need to say. Okay, Mr. Marconis, this is not a new issue. This is meetings that have been held in the evening. They have been held in the daytime today because of the reasons I have just stated to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, 
So do I have a motion to that effect? We motion to, I make a motion to table this meeting. <laughs> that doesn't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I make a motion to table this meeting to another time that's made available so the public may, may attend and we will revisit all of the subjects that we discussed today. Right. Let's, let's just be precise on the motion. If it, a motion either to table a vote on a specific local law or a motion to adjourn the meeting. But Hang on. Table, table the meeting. I just want to make sure we're yep, precise. Was, no, they can't hear you. So I was suggesting that you, you don't table a meeting. If you want to adjourn a meeting, that's fine. If you want to uh, make a motion to table a vote on the local law, that's the motion. Well, I'm okay. just, I just want to make sure. We'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Yeah. What about the other motion? Don't you have to take that? You have, yeah, you have a, still have another motion on you the table. The yeah, motion. Motion. What's the other one? Mr. Morris's motion. What was his motion? You made the same motion. Okay. Well, let's right, go let back me, to the notes. All right. Let me let me clarify. I don't withdraw anything. Let me make this easy. Uh, I'm making a motion to adjourn this meeting and to resume it at 7:30. Well, I guess I have to change the meeting date. The first first thing we'll do is make a resolution to change the Monday meeting from 10 o'clock in the morning till 7:30 at night when the public can attend. Uh, there's no meeting Monday at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yes, meeting, there is. There's a meeting at for the Orange Avenue project you're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's at 7 p.m. That's at 7 p.m. 7? Yes. yes. Put the that's what it's okay. been advertised. Yes. Monday. You want to do the whole thing Monday? It was, it's advertised for the 7th. Okay. You want? All right, I'll, I'll make a motion that we continue this uh, at Monday's meeting, uh, at which time the public will have a chance to uh, participate in it. I second that motion for, to adjourn the meeting until Monday at 7 p.m. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. And I vote no. Okay. You vote I'm, no? I vote, I vote no that I don't believe that, I believe that we should pass the, the, the motion to not back bill our residents. So therefore, I feel that, that that should have been taken care of at this meeting. Again, we're stagnating the budget process and the treasurer's office in their billing, and I just don't think that that's the right thing. That's not responsible. The billing still can go out at the established rates. The billing can go out today. Because it reflects that the bills will go out with the new rate. I don't think you're understanding. Why would the bills go out of no budget? Right. So pass the motion that there will be no back billing, that the that the tax bills, so we are sure, will go out at the old rate. That's all I was asking for. The rates established. But the but the the motion then the, then the treasurer's office can't do the billing. Well, that's ridiculous. So. Okay, so that is done. Let us go on to the tax cap. Um, the two. We adjourn the whole meeting. Oh, you want everything adjourned? So no, yeah. okay. Right. The whole right. meeting. Excellent. Who made this? Who seconded it? I did. Robert? Seven, seven on Monday. It's already after seven. Seven o'clock will be fine. We have a public hearing on Orange Avenue, uh, the zone change at seven. at seven, so it actually would have to be after that. We could put it on for seven to 15, but it may be after that.